Notice in this expression we have multiplication here and here, and we also have subtraction. Following the order of operations, we need to multiply before we subtract. So we'll find these two products before we subtract. But we do want to try to simplify out all of the common factors between the numerators and denominators before we multiply. So what we're going to do is rewrite this so that all the numerators and denominators are in prime factored form. So we'll have negative, the numerator is three, and three is prime. The prime factorization of four is two times two. Two is prime and three is prime, minus three is prime and five is prime and we have one and four would be two times two. Okay, so now we can see there's a common factor of three over three here that simplifies to one, and two over two also simplifies to one. Notice in the second product, nothing simplifies. So for this first product, we have a negative times a positive, that's negative. We have a one in the numerator and a two in the denominator, minus, here we have three in the numerator, and our denominator would be five times four, which is twenty. And now in order to subtract these fractions, we have to obtain a common denominator. So if we have a denominator of two and twenty, we want the smallest number that is divisible by both twenty and two, or the least common multiple of two and twenty. So twenty will be our least common denominator. And we can rewrite this fraction with the denominator of twenty if we multiply both the denominator and the numerator by ten. So this would be negative ten twentieths. Remember, if it's helpful, you can put the negative sign in the numerator, and that is often helpful when adding and subtracting. And then instead of minus a positive three twentieths, I'm going to write plus a negative three twentieths. Remember, subtracting a positive is equivalent to adding a negative. And now this sum would have a denominator of twenty, and the numerator would be negative ten plus negative three, which is negative thirteen. And now that we know this fraction is negative, you'll often see the negative sign moved out into the front of the fraction. These two fractions are equivalent, but I think you'll often see it written in this form here.